Okay, so we are officially recording, and that way I can put the lecture for today online, and anybody who missed it can uh, uh, view it on YouTube. Like uh, I'll put a link up once I get it downloaded and all. Um, so uh, <clears throat> this is the week five, first period uh, classification essay introduction. Let me see what I've got already. Okay, let's just work through it. Um, we have, well, classification is uh, the art of finding things that are similar to each other. Do you remember the old song from uh, uh, Sesame Street? One of these things is not like the other. Well, um, Classification is the art of uh, sorting things out. So I imagine that um, I pour out a five pound bag of M&Ms in a big bowl and we have, how many colors do they have? I've never even thought. Um, um, I would guess five. The red, orange, green, blue, yellow, brown, six. Ah, so uh, you got six bowls, and uh, you start taking each color out and putting it in its own bowl. So there'd be a red bowl, a red bowl. blue bowl, and a yellow bowl, and uh, so that's classification. And it's coming up with a way of. Um, finding differences and similarities and putting these similar things together. If um, you remember once upon a time, I still have my P, don't have my PowerPoint. Hmm. I know what I'll do. If that work, it will not. Um, Here it is. There, good. Right. Now I can take notes on this, but y'all can still read it, which is kind of cool. All right, so uh, we're taking um, kind of continuing stuff we learned a few weeks back. Um, uh, once upon a time, there was a philosopher named Aristotle, and he wrote a lot of books, and um, he wrote one book called The Art of Rhetoric. For some reason, they always put that in quotation marks. Um, the actual word is techne, like Louisiana Tech. It's the same word. Um, and in it, he says that there are uh, five different stages to um, a, a speech. Uh, one is invention. Come on. I think, there you go. Zoom greatly slows down my computer. I don't know what to do about it. And uh, these are the, what he calls the five canons of rhetoric. 
So a little over a hundred years ago, in the 1800s, uh, there was a rhetoric teacher at Harvard who started noticing that um, the, the, uh, the speeches he was hearing were terrible uh, because um, you know they were poorly written to start with. So he uh, went to the boss, powers that be, and said, uh, our students need some um, brushing up on good writing good grammar. Um, so uh, he started the first English department. And the way he taught it was the way he had taught speech for the last 30 years. And just bring his notes over. Why, why come up with something new? So he um, based English uh, writing, the writing part of it anyway, uh, Here we go, strike through. He based it on uh, the art of rhetoric by uh, Aristotle, only you don't need the last two anymore because um, we aren't giving the speech. We're, we find information in uh, step one. Um, we say in, uh, for some, some reason, the way that it's translated is invention, um, it could better be called discovery. Invention or discovery, where you find the information. And, you know, if you're doing independent first time research, uh, then you're doing an invention. Like, uh, basically, you know, I'm, I'm building this and I'm inventing this, and that's what I'm going to write about. Uh, for most of us, though, uh, Invention means going out and finding information somebody else generated. Uh, so arrangement is what we're talking about today. Not how to find information, but how to arrange information uh, so that you have an outline. So you kind of look over your material. You see what the basic categories are for, uh, you know, for organizing this and then you um you start to um you start to put each item in a category so uh there ought to be at least two categories or else you don't have categories um and they should be different enough that you can figure out what the difference is um so you shouldn't be able to go in two different categories so they should be be complete enough to cover everything, uh, but also mutually exclusive. You've got one thing versus the other. We'll talk about it in a minute when we get there. Um, oh, here we go. Invention and arrangement. Um, yes, the categories should be conceptually distinct. Ah, I, have, I was on more on the more, I was sharper that day, it looks like. Um, so invention, you go out and find the material. Remember, we did that with the uh, My Sister exercise. We also did that with the other one, um, My Room. You know, he had, he had all this information in a list. Then he had to arrange it. Um, and so we're doing that one more time. Um, the categories should be different and not overlap. So um, if you're talking about the dangers of cigarettes, for example. Uh, you wouldn't say physical dangers and then health dangers, unless you're talking about maybe dropping a lit cigarette or going to sleep with a lit cigarette and it burns, the, burns something down. But for the most part, uh, physical uh, and health are going to overlap. So you have to take a close look at it. So here are the general rules about arranging material into categories. A, or one, <laughs> is uh, every category should be named. So you come up with a category and a name for it. What is the label? Every category should be conceptually distinct. If you're coming up with, uh, um, oh, yeah, we'll get there in a minute. 
And every item in the list must be placed. So however many items you have a list, uh, they all have to go somewhere. Um, and so these, by the way, this is where people lose points. Um, these are the things I've noticed over the years teaching this assignment. Uh, sometimes people don't name the categories. Sometimes the category is more or less the same. And then uh, sometimes people forget to uh, put items in a category or they um, put the same one in two, you know, uh, categories. All right, so let's look at classification test number one. Ooh, what do we want to open it with? Maybe Adobe? Ugh. I didn't want to save it. All right. Um, and I have to figure out how to throttle McAfee. It's just too annoying. Um, Here we go. Have it three times. That's the official one. I think they're all the same. Okay, so we need to rotate it. All right, good. So um, we're doing a rough draft for next period, Friday, which will once again be over Zoom. Uh, Monday, we will be back uh, in our room and um, I'll hand out this task to you, um, which you'll then do. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. It's not a you know, you aren't trying to elaborate a lot on this stuff. Uh, you're just trying to um, um, to cover the ground that needs to be covered. So classification task number one, always know what the assignment is. Let's blow that back up, shall we? There we go. All right, if we had a school newspaper, uh, you would be working for it. Now, um, once upon a time, we had the tech talk. I don't know. Um, I think think uh, journalism is seen as a dying uh, um, like job. And so uh, tech's not wanting a lot of people in its journalism department. Uh, it may be that one day we, we no longer have a major. We may be there already. I don't know. Anyway. If we still had the tech talk, and if you worked for the tech talk, your uh, editor would come around and give you assignments, things to write about, and you're writing on a deadline. And uh, classic newspaper uh, style writing uh, means uh, you are also uh, crammed for space, crammed for space because the newspaper is only so big. You've got a lot of information that needs to go in there every day, and so you want to get your point across in as few words as possible. Um, your article will appear in a, oh, your assignment. So uh, this is just in, uh, they call you over to the desk, hand you the piece of paper, it says, uh, write a short article, short, see, short, um, that classifies the major dangers of running. Your article will appear in a special supplement on sports activities. Determine the categories you need and include each of the ideas listed below under one of the categories. Oh, yeah. So 
Uh, notice that I've uh, numbered these A through L. That's 12 items, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, 12 items. And uh, these are just uh, like if you went and talked to a coach and a doctor uh, and you were asking them about the major dangers of running and they were just kind of giving them out randomly. Um, this is the list you come up with, but you can't write an article just like this. You can't just put all those sentences together and have something. Uh, you have to arrange it. So older runners often run too far, too fast, and there's heart attacks. Tired runners, uh, sometimes hit by cars. Uh, some people find runners to be snobbish toward non-runners. <clears throat> Women running alone have been I'm victims of rapists. Regular running can strain joints, which becomes a serious problem later in life. <clears throat> I can tell you that it's true. Um, <clears throat> maybe runners have a higher divorce rate than non-runners. Now suggested, that means they haven't actually done much research, but oh, we'll let that slide. So on. Okay, so here is the list, so here's the assignment right here. Uh, oh, here we go, right here. Oh, that's not working. Up here, I'm waving my uh, thing over this. Uh, here is the list, and then here is the grading criteria, very much like uh, the other rubrics, rubrics uh, we've had with, uh, with uh, or the narrative and descriptions. They're similar but different. Uh, so as with the others, you want to get a number four on all of these. So number four, uh, the writer provides an introduction which shows that he, she recognizes both the collegiate audience and the circumstances of the writing test. So in your uh, essay or in your article uh, the first paragraph should be to you know recognizing that you're writing to college students and that you are um talking about the dangers of running uh, so the audience and the occasion the cause for you to address them uh, so hello college students i'm writing to you in the tech talk which used to be a newspaper we had um, I want to talk about, well, no, that's an announcement. Uh, you should be aware running has many dangers. And um, really, that's really all the intro you have to have. You may add another couple of sentences, but you don't need a nice, full, long introductory paragraph because it's a newspaper and they want you to write fast and uh, you know, get as much information in as little space as possible. Categories. So when you do the rough draft for Friday, be thinking about categories. What are the categories uh, that you uh, want to divide these things into? Um, if you look back. Uh, heart attack. Crossing streets hit by cars, snobbish. Okay, these are obviously two different things, right? Uh, one, you could say physical dangers or health dangers. The other, social problems that come from uh, too much running. And um, you have two categories now. Dangers to our bodies, dangers to our uh, uh, social standing, uh, you could come up with a third, um, but you need to have at least two. And all of these need to be fit into one of the two categories. So if it squints, kind of looks both ways, just pick one of the categories and explain why it fits. So uh, we have established categories um, and grouped all items into conceptually distinct categories. 
and named the category. So that's three things you got to do. Um, one, name the categories. Two, um, make sure that they are different from each other, conceptually distinct. So if you do physical and health, it's probably going to be a problem because getting hit by a car is a physical problem, but it's also a health problem. So, uh, you know, one of those would probably be enough. Um, and then you have to make sure that each item has been taken, has been used. Next, um, have you used all the items? Are they correctly um, categorized into categories that you establish? So you don't put it in the uh, first paragraph, which is the introduction. You don't put it in your conclusion. And for newspaper articles, generally, uh, I mean, you know, they might or might not have a conclusion. Um, you don't need to worry about it um, if you're trying, you know, all journalism is pressed for time or most of it is. All right, so I used all 12 items and it's a well-written, I have topic sentences that state what the uh, topics are. Uh, the transitions are good. Uh, the paragraphs are focused and uh, I think Next time, we'll go over this in class. Where's our time coming? There we go. Now, to make it easier for me to grade quicker and just to make sure that you get all your points and I don't miss something, uh, when we do the rough draft and the, the final copy, I would like you to have the, uh, the letter for each item in the uh, margin where it shows up so I don't miss something. So I look at the regular running composed, serious health problems, strain joints, blisters, hill spurs, and chin splints, for example. Um, well, that's J and E, but I might not pick up on that because it's just a list. So you put it out there in the margin, makes it quicker for me to find. I can go, okay, where's A, B, where's C, where's D? Um, where is C? There's D. E, F, G. H, no, no H, ha, I think we're, no, I think there is an H. H, here it is, I, where's J, K, L. So you see, it, even here, it takes a little time, but if I'm reading through this just mass of uh, uh, two paragraphs hunting items, I may well miss something and count off when it was actually there. So we don't want that, we want to get all your credit, um, also, I want a scratch page, page one, which, um, let me show you how that works. Uh, where's the... That one, cool. Oh my goodness. Let's click that back and try. There we go. Only we want a number. Oh. So on your rough draft, uh, I do want it numbered. Dear, everything disappeared. Um, are y'all still there? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, still there. All right, sorry about that. So uh, I want it to have at least two pages. Uh, one is your uh, outline. I need the name of your categories. 
and and um, the letters for each item. So A might go in category two, uh, B might go back in category one, and so on. I don't want the whole sentence that takes too long for you to have to write that down i want you to uh you know be moving as quickly as possible i uh, use only the letters not the whole sentence but you can see how uh our okay i think we're in foxes somehow you can see how our list here uh, looks like the list for my room and my sister. So just a random list, a random list. Um, so then you're going to have um, whatever your categories are. Um, you need at least two of them. And that means um, at most you can have six. Why? Uh, because you need at least two items in each category. So each category, I mean, each item goes in a category and each category should have a couple of items instead of just being by itself. So something like the um, being expensive, um, I don't know. It would logically fit in a paragraph on economics, but you might, you know, if you don't find any other economic stuff, uh, you could put it into uh, problems with your social life. But you ran out of money. You can't go have fun, which is what the uh, the rough draft will say next time. Okay, so you use only the letters, not the whole sentence. Page two, and uh, whatever comes after. Um, I want the rough draft. And in the rough draft, I want a, I don't like that. There we go. So in the rough draft, I uh, want a uh, introduction that shows that, uh, as it says, he recognizes both the audience and uh, the assignment and has a thesis. So um, recognizing the assignment is a uh, simple, well, here we go. Tech students should be aware of the dangers of running. Boom, you got your audience and you got your, uh, your, uh, your topic. Ooh, that's no good. All right, and then I want um, at least two paragraphs in the body. So that's a total of three paragraphs. And uh, the paragraphs should each have a topic sentence. So the topic is whatever category you came up with for that one. Um, suppose you did come up with a financial category. Uh, then you have a topic sentence uh, that shows that uh, one danger that students should be aware of is that it can hit their wallet. And students don't have a lot of money. Uh, if you're writing to rich people, money won't be a problem. So you'll have to you know, think of something else. Um, and then each, ooh.
Each item should be in one of the body paragraphs. Uh, so you use all 12 items and then uh, the letter for each item should be in the left margin. Or uh, I don't know if you're typing it, it's hard to make those, which it can be in a, uh, a you know, word processor. Um, you know, you can just highlight them, but we'll be handwriting on Monday, unless you want to bring a computer. Um, and um, you'll want each item, um, you know, if it's not in the margin, you could like make a big red A right in the middle of the text, so I'll see it, uh, something like that. Um, but if it's handwritten, left margin's good. And I think that's it. And uh, next time, after you've been working on your um, rough drafts, we're going to uh, go over this uh, sample rough draft uh, and grade it and see how that person does. And then Monday, we will have classification task number two, which will be similar. You will have a task at the top and an audience at the top. You will have a list underneath uh, that. And then you will have these four categories to which I would add E, um, how well written it is. Uh, we didn't, I just didn't have room to put that, but it's the same E as on all the other assignments we did. Uh, grammar, punctuation, dangling modifiers, all that kind of stuff. So that's the E. Uh, but do write that down somewhere so you know to, uh, it needs to be wrong. Well, let me just put it here. Yeah, when I did this, um, there was no room for it to fit. So that was, this was, believe it or not, before the internet, uh, there was such a time. Uh, and also uh, when I'm handing it out in class, if I can hand out one page instead of two, that, you know, cuts the amount of paper and um, uh, printer stuff, not printer, copier stuff in half. All right. So. Any questions before we uh, go and start working on that? I will open up chat. Here's chat. I can see chat or you can just unmute. And did anybody else come in after um, I finished calling the roll? If you did, let me know. All right, so Friday, we'll be back here on the Zoom, and then Monday, we'll be back in class and uh, do the uh, classification essay. Um, it shouldn't take, I mean, you can stay as long as you want because it's the last class of the day, but it shouldn't take over the amount of time we have. We're not looking for something long. We're looking for you to make it as short as you can with all the information in it. And I will tell you, if you, do the rough draft. If you come Friday and go over the uh, grading of it, um, then you will find it pretty straightforward on Monday. If you understand this, you'll understand that. If you don't understand this, you won't understand that. So let's get all of us uh, understanding what we're doing. Oh, let's... Let me look at what's going on with Moodle. I've been having to do these by hand, which is very frustrating. Let me see if there's something I did wrong. It may be a Moodle thing because a lot of people have been tr having trouble uploading it, but some people I think did upload it at least at one point. So let's make sure I've got my settings right. Can y'all still see? 
I'm not going to look at any grades, just see how I've got this set up. Okay, narrative or descriptive? Mm. Start date, January 13th. Due date, maybe that's it. Um, post date, all this stuff can uh, go, go wrong. Let's try this. Turn it in assignment. Okay, so one part, 100 megabytes, surely nobody. Um, let's just say any file type. I'm not sure. Um, don't turn in a JPEG, but we want it to at least do a doc, docx, and PDF. Um, okay, runs. Assignment part one, start due date 15th, 19th, which is tomorrow. But we should, oh, that's it. I was almost positive I had a yes there. All right, my apologies. I, I checked when I started getting notes. I've been uploading uh, these myself, but try one more time to upload it. I'm going to save and return to course. If it still doesn't work, Email it to me in an attachment. There won't be any penalty because, well, this is my fault. <laughs> I probably wouldn't penalize you even if it was your fault if I feel like you're trying. But this one's on me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if it's already uploaded, you're cool. Like if you sent it to me and I uploaded it for you. Uh, but if you're still trying, try it one more time. And then if it still won't work, email it to me. And uh, usually it'll let me upload it. All right, any more questions? That's very good. I'm glad you brought that up. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing. All right, going once, going twice. All right, I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good rest of the week.